Hi, I'm Kate Scher with The Healthy Cook and Nutrition Action Health Letter. And I have the great job of turning what the nutritionists say you should eat into something that you actually want to eat. We're all at home right now, so I'm working in my own kitchen, and today I'm gonna to prepare a crunchy lentil salad. This crunchy lentil salad is really flexible, so if you don't have the exact ingredients that I'm using today, I'll give you a few ideas of what else you can use. One of the important things in this salad is that you want some delicious um, acid. We're also gonna use some zest. This is the type of zester I like to use. It gives you uh, bigger pieces of zest. If you wanted finer zest, then a microplane is a good choice. So we're just gonna put a, a bit of zest. Uh, I like about a teaspoon in this recipe. And you might also want to put a few pieces of zest to the side so that you can garnish your, your dish. In addition to the zest, some lemon juice. You need about two tablespoons, which you can get from one lemon. So that's a teaspoon of zest, two tablespoons of lemon juice, also two tablespoons of olive oil. The other ingredients in this very basic lemon vinaigrette are uh, salt. We're gonna use about a half a teaspoon. We also need some Dijon mustard. You don't have Dijon mustard, some whole grain mustard is nice. So we just give it a whisk. It does not have to be perfectly emulsified. The other ingredient in this uh, recipe that I really love is shallot. I don't happen to have shallots today, so I'm gonna use red onion. If red onion is just too strong for you, then white or Vidalia onions are also a great choice. Now, because I only need two tablespoons, I'm just gonna cut the little side off of that, take the peel off, and then use the very tip of the knife to come through. When I use a tip, it means that the onion slices stay in place. So unlike doing this, where you'll end up picking the onion pieces up because you want all your onion pieces to stay in line because the next thing we're gonna do is turn it and mince it. Now you've got a beautiful mince and you're ready to pop that into your dressing. So we'll get the dressing back here, slip that right off the board, boom, boom. Other ingredients in this yummy salad are two cups of cooked lentils. I normally use black lentils in this salad, but I only found the French lentil. It's also a great choice. Um, it holds its shape, so it's great in salads, unlike sort of, sort of red lentils or split peas, which would fall apart and not be great in a salad. A cup of celery. I like celery hearts for salad. You use the leaves as well as the stalks. That's one cup of that. Not a fan of celery or just don't have any celery in the kitchen. Radishes, carrots, bell peppers, any of those things that would add some color and some crunch will make it delicious. I've also got a quarter cup of walnuts. I toasted them really well. So they have extra flavor, extra toasty flavor, and a little bit of that bitterness that comes in a walnut and that nice savory nutty flavor. So a quarter cup of those. And finally, yum yum, I have some 12 month aged manchego. This is a hard cheese. You could substitute Parmesan cheese if you want or any other hard cheese. Say like a very sharp cheddar would also work. And we're just gonna put some few, about a quarter cup of that shaved. I'm using my handy dandy serrated peeler. Any peeler will work or you could again use a microplane and have smaller pieces. So you've got crunch, you've got color, you've got something that's really healthy, and because it's delicious, you'll want seconds. So because I don't like to serve in this giant bowl, I want it to be a bit prettier, I am gonna put it into a nicer bowl. So in it goes, looks amazing. So please stay safe, stay home, cook some really delicious things, and I'll see you next time. This is my little dog, Leafy. I think she would say two paws up for this dish. And she would like to remind you to wash your paws.